Hi, right, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be a repair video. I'm hoping, I know, I know what's wrong with it. I'm going to try to fix the original board in this unit. If this doesn't solve it, we're going to have to put a new board in it, and that will solve it. But I'm trying to keep the cost down for the customer. Uh, so the capacitor in this unit is bad. I'm pretty certain that's what's wrong. Uh, I mean, it is bad. we got to put a new one on there. But I don't know if there's anything else wrong with this thing yet or not. Um... So what it was doing, this is on a Gallagher B80. They made a B180 and a B280 as well back in the day. But this unit is, uh, how old is this thing? Uh, 2013 model, the first two digits of the year it was built. So it's 2013, so it's 11 years old from manufacture date, uh, time frame. But they came out with this model in 2005. So by the time the customer got it, it was ordered about eight year old unit or eight year old production run. And they don't make this model anymore. They stopped production in 2017, 18, somewhere in that range. I got a, a new board for it here in stock. It's it's new, but it's like five years old. It's a 2018 board, but it's it's new. And I put that in there with the transformer, and it works. And so I know the it was working before, but it was only show um, it was uh, only flash and click. With just the bottom red light on, so I thought maybe that the transformer possibly had an internal short in the thing. I mean, it's a guess, but I, you know, I wasn't for sure. So I put a, a new board in it that I had, and that solved it. I mean, it went to work, and all the lights were flashing and putting on good power. <laughs> so I'm going to try a new capacitor in it first, and we'll hope that's uh, what solves our issue. But I, you know, can't guarantee it's going to fix it. Um, transformers for these are obsolete. They don't make them anymore. These were special made transformers by Gallagher and House, and they're kind of a unique design. So you can't just put a any old transformer in it and make it work. It's got a kind of feedback loop that runs the lights and stuff. And most transformers that are made do not have that feedback winding loop built into it. So what we're going to do is it's the transfer I'm putting in there the right size, right, it's actually the size bigger, but it'll work, it'll, it's not going to hurt anything. And if anything, it'll get a little bit more power out of it, shock-wise. So we're just going to tend the wires on both the lead of the capacitor and, and this wire here, and we're going to blend them together here. And then we'll snip it there. And then we can just pull the insulation off here. Because there's nothing in that area that's tied to anything else. That's this wire is gonna hurt. I'm gonna add this a little bit of solder here. Just tend the section of wire. I'm gonna clean that solder joint up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a screwdriver. Actually I'm gonna snip off just a Snip into that. And I get a screwdriver because this wire is bare and it's going to get real hot real fast. That solder iron. I'm going to heat them both up together. Oops, come on, get over there. Okay, so far so good. Let's put this board back in here. Transformer in here carefully without breaking anything on it. Just a press press on transformer into the terminals and stuff. Now we'll hook up our 12 volt cable to it. They are color coded, tells you which wire goes where, which makes it easy for repairs and assembly. Let's hope those are working. So, before what it was doing, you turn it on and it click and fl flash, but only flash the one red light. It should flash, I think there's like two red, two yellow, two green, or one red, two yellow, three green, or something like that. Um, that's all it would do is flash, flash and click, but only show the bottom light. I put a new board in it, and uh, everything went to work and fine. Lights were flashing all the way up. There it goes. Look at that. 
this new capacitor and away we went. All right, turn off for a second. We'll take the knobs off here. We'll uh, put our tester on there. We'll see what kind of voltage we're getting out of this. So we can save the new board for a rainy day for somebody else that actually needs it. All right, flip the power. I put this uh, all right. We're gonna do open circuit, no load. We test the uh, kilovolts and see what kind of. It's a one. This is a point eight stored joule unit, and it might be a little bit higher now, uh, output joule wise, because it had a six microfarad capacitor before. Now we've got an eight. Uh, so that might increase the energy output by uh, just a smidge. So we'll put our meter across here and see what kind of peak voltage we get, which this is our KV reading right here. So I'm going to put our meter right there to there. We're getting 6.7 KV, so just a little shy of 7,000 volts out of it every time it clicks. So let's put it under a slight load. Put a 500 ohm load across it, see what it gets. See, we're at point seven joule output at 4,000 volts. Let's switch these leads and see what kind of we can get that way. 0.7 kV, so we're almost at point, we're almost at the stored joule level of what it was before. With that new capacitor, it's got, or the big new capacitor, bigger, a little bit bigger capacitor, we got a little bit higher energy output now. Yeah, we're at, we went past the threshold. Actually, let me change that. There it goes. Yeah, it's a point. It's it's about a point seven joule output. So it's, it's I can go a little higher, but we're at so much, there's not enough energy in the KV to left over to really uh, make it go any higher voltage or joule wise. So we're probably at its limit of uh, joule wise of what it would handle. So um, yeah, so we're it's a little stronger of a unit. Let's see what kind of spark it'll throw just for shits and giggles. Uh, find a. Uh, wire here. Oh, I'm gonna find one that's sort of stripped. I don't want to do all that work. Alright, we're gonna take a piece of wire and we're gonna go from ground to fence. A fence to ground doesn't matter. Touch one and get real close to the other one. Nice sharp snapping little thing. So, there you go. Saved another one from the trash heap. Because I, you can get a, a board for it, I think, still. But the, uh, um, the new model today, they make a size smaller and a size bigger. This, the uh, B60 is the unit built today. It's a .6 joules. This is a .8 stored and the um, the next size bigger from Gallagher's MB150 it's an AC DC model uh, runs off either or um, and it's a one and a half joule so almost twice as strong as this one roughly both units are very those other two units are very well made but kind of expensive but the you know at least you get at least you get in quality when you buy the Gallagher stuff so Ah, there we go. Save another one from Trash Heap and then we'll call the customer up, and give him a cheap quote for working on this thing, and move on to the next one. Until next time, see you guys later on. Remember to subscribe and like the video, and see you later.